Hello everyone and welcome back to Princess Maker 5. In the last episode, Helena got her guts tested by a ghost and also met a mermaid because this game's getting weird. Also, see these magazines at the bottom? I've been told if I click and then go to town information, this actually tells me when there's movies and other crap playing. So... Boy, that would have been handy and would have removed all of the bitching I was doing earlier. So I've decided to add a little element of chaos to Helena's life. Not a huge one, but earlier in one of the episodes, I had said that her, uh, her weight has gone down, but her boobs and her waist and her height have gone up. I guess that's good. Uh, anyway, what I was saying was, I'm not going to touch her morals anymore. So, if she's immoral, then so it goes. She can just remain a little immoral, and we'll see how that affects her ending. Because I've made too many of my daughters before who I've been worried about their morals, and I've tried to keep them from going to the brink. So, let's see what happens with Helena if she doesn't, uh have the purest of intentions. I am still curious what I'm gonna do about her eyesight or where I need to go for it, but we'll figure that out later. God, I have so much money now. I just have nothing to spend it on. Back to the books on the ground for a second. It does allow me to schedule if I wanna go see an event. So the idle voice actor Kachibari Mai is coming. And so if I click daily schedule, it's added to her, her schedule. So the female pro wrestling event that we missed, it's in June the entire month. So it's not listed here, probably because we're in August at the moment, but good to know it's here. Hopefully I remember to activate that next year. Maybe we'll uh, get Helena to be a professional wrestler. If we do, I should have named her Tina. I forgot this, since we have all this money, we can buy some better outfits for her. I'm not buying an, a 12-year-old sexy clothing, but we'll buy cool clothing. A trendy st street style clothing. That... That clothing will not likely fit our lady. What? Really? What does that mean? Oh, let's buy it anyway. We've got money to burn. And... I think I'll have to wait until I get back to the house before I can put her in it. Let's see, 30,000 yen for male na nail maintenance service. Okay. Let's uh, do that. Feels pretty good to see my nails getting prettier. Became more sensitive to decoration. Attractiveness has increased. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're only attractive if you buy a bunch of pointless bullshit and paint your face and your body. It's the only way you can be pretty. Oh, here we go. There's another dress store. Kids' traditional clothes, full dress, kids' party dress. So that's probably why. She's too young to wear what I had bought her. That's the difference between kids' dress and cute dress. Uh, how about kids' traditional clothes? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's a kimono. Uh, what about the cute dress? A cute a dress for those kids who want to show off. Attractiveness up by 10. This clothing will not likely fit our lady. Okay, so, but the kids' dress will. A dress for those kids who want to show off. Another attractiveness plus 10, but this time Cube isn't being a jerk about it. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's head back and see if we can change her outfit real quick. Let's see. Can you wear cool clothing? Get her changed. I believe the clothing will be too big for her. Okay, so I just straight can't do it. All right, so wear the kids' dress? Okay. I, I don't know if that really looks attractive plus 10, but hey, as long as you like it, uh, Helena, that's all that matters. That's a very triumphant sound effect for getting 312 points on a mock exam. Those with great scores try to become even greater, and those lower scores should still try to become great. So I guess everybody just do great things. Why am I speaking? Bye! I'm not sure what prompted it because I was holding down the fast forward button, but Emily says they say it's found in the forest slightly outside the town, a house with ghosts. Gosh, no, I'm still scared of them. You two over there, what are you whispering about? Aw, oh, busted. Emily, could you speak louder so I can hear as well? Yes, we were talking about the house rumored to have ghosts. 
What? A house with ghosts? Where is it? No, I don't want to hear any more of this. Now, now, calm down, everyone. Are you perhaps talking about the old Western-style house near the town? That is correct. Emily, you aren't going off again with your scoops or anything like that, right? Yes, of course I will. I cannot allow you to do that. It's a... The music just completely cut out. It's a place no one really approaches often, so it would be dangerous if something happens. It wouldn't be awkward if it collapses. Not to mention all the bad rumors on the house. On top of everything, you should not trespass into someone else's house, alright? Heh, <laughs> she may be thinking she stopped me, but I won't be giving up that easily. And since she said there are other rumors on the house, now I feel obligated to investigate further. Now, Emily Correspondent is off to- is off for the scoop. Go, go, go! <laughs> be careful! She was told not to go there still. It bothers me even more. Oh man, I forgot about the translation. It's been about a week or two since I played the game, so... I'd forgotten the translation is... A bit iffy. I wonder if I can go out there myself. Let's see if that's a thing. I also... So, just to test to see if it works, there's a fall festival coming, and I added it to the schedule. You can see the little green shoes down here, which apparently marks that I'm going to be going there. We'll see if he, if Cube reminds me at the time. Ooh, she's a bit stressed. The last week I allowed her to do whatever she wants, and she does not lower her stress when she does that, so... Let's see, there's no ha oh, there's the house. Goblin house, an old western mansion rumored to have goblins. Let's head over there. This is a rather weird looking house. No one is here either. It feels as if a ghost would come out. Let's go back, father, I'm scared. No, you're going to experience this. This is the kind of environment in which I don't want to stay for long. I don't care, investigate it. Oh, I don't have a choice. All right, I guess I have to leave, that's too bad. Maybe we can go back in the evening. Let's, uh, go to the amusement park and see the show. Oh, yeah, you can see the show. That's fine. Um, stress is reduced. Okay, so now let's try to go back to the house. Starting to get to the evening. Um, still wasn't letting me. What if we go to the Civic Sports Center, the Civic Gym... Okay, we'll investigate, and then we'll move, and let's head back to the goblin house. No one would feel safe living in a place like this, but it doesn't seem that I can do anything with that, huh? Well, hopefully Emily's not murdered. It's September 22nd, but it's also Sunday, which probably means she's not going to give me a present, and I find that very offensive. So we're going to yell at her. You're supposed to give me a present, Helena. It's my birthday after all. <sighs> there you go, venting at me again. Father, you must be hating on me so much. After getting scolded hard, she became to doubt her parents' love. Stress accumulated. Lost her will to be considerate. Well, the whole problem is you weren't considerate enough, Helena. Buy me stuff. Oh, well, I guess I should apologize because they made a cake and everything for me later that evening. Happy birthday, master! Here's your birthday present! After you guilted me into it, have some vitamins. Really? This is the shittiest present ever, Helena. Uh, here's a present, master. I had picked this just for you! Are you saying I'm unhealthy? I'm gonna throw the pill bottle right back in your face. Say a complaint. It sucks. So it's no use to you? Sniff. Uh, Master, that is a present from your daughter. You could have been nicer. Well, she could have given me... I almost said something really inappropriate. Pyro, despite the sincere gift, seems to have had an uneasy day. The bond with the daughter has plunged. Well, maybe if she'd be a more considerate daughter, then everything would be fine. Do better, Helena. Okay, it's the 29th. Cube is reminding me of the Fall Festival at the Inari Mountain Shrine. That's fantastic that the game does have a way to remind you. I take back my complaints from earlier about it. Although I suppose if I want to be an asshole, I should say that I wish it had been pointed out to me rather than having a fan, a viewer, Highmark, tell me 
about the fact that those books were there, but whatever. At least I have discovered the thing, and now I can set myself a reminder, and we will not be missing the women's professional wrestling tournaments anymore. Helena has been complaining about her weight, so we're going to put her on a diet temporarily. We're going to switch her off of the diet probably in a month or two, but I guess one month is... Boy, I hope that's not picking up. Some dumbass kid is playing a recorder just outside my window. Guess I'll know when I look at my audio feed later. Anyway, so I'm going to have her try to lose a bit of her diet, or a little bit of her weight, and hopefully she'll be a little bit more happy. Kenichi has now invited Helena to go to his house. Oh boy. Go ahead. Let's go. All right, my house is actually nearby. Nice apartment building. <laughs> so you live in this mansion. Mansion? Yup, we're on the fifth floor and oh my god, that's one house. Is it one house or is that badly translated? Because it just looks like an apartment building. On the first floor. Yo, Ken the kid. Hey, Michiru. 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 I'm going to play a game at Kenichi's place. Would you like to join us? Game is it? You also like games, kiddo. Shut up. Don't try nitpicking on someone's hobby. I don't do games so well. I'll gladly join you for anything outdoor. I see. Is your house also near Michiru? Should I say it's nearby? I live on the first floor of this mansion. Eh? Is that so? Well, you two have fun. I'm gonna do some stamina trading at home later. Okay. So, it's gotta be an apartment building. Yeah, and it's just mistranslated. She spill she just spills it right out as she pleases. Let's go in, Helena. Well, okay. I guess Kinichi and Michiru are childhood friends. Well, now you are too, because you're 12. And you're friends with both of them. Everything is going to be fine and happy. I promise. I think I accidentally discovered why I can move crap around like this, because remember I mentioned that I couldn't understand why I can move pieces of the interface like this? It's because that I can place it on or off this hotbar over here, so we could always see specific numbers, which is actually kind of cool. Although again, I really wish the game would have told me that from the beginning, or somehow pointed it out to me. but. I don't know why I need to worry about guts, but stamina is helpful, knowing stress is helpful, and I guess I'll leave these other two for now. But that way, on this little hotbar, we get a customized view of what we want to see. Kind of cool. I suppose I need to just get into the habit of checking out the MRN news every month or so, just to remind myself what's going on. We definitely want to go to this pastry noir Christmas event, where we can get exclusive and delicate handmade desserts but there's no notice here of the date, so this is why occasionally we'll just have to look manually. Right now they are available December 1st, and it is currently December 1st because this uses the British way of doing the dates rather than the American way. It is the 1st of December, so we should head over to Pastry Noir and get ourselves some desserts. Well, I picked the wrong building because I'm not sure where Pastry Noir is, but we found a singing competition. Okay. Oh, hey, if it isn't Helena. Oh, wow, Emerin, what a coincidence. Are you going to try a, a... Are you going to give a try at the singing competition? Of course. Emerin, you're really good at singing. I'm not just good. How should I put this? I'm just the music itself. I'm at that level. Uh, I don't think I get it, but that was still amazing. Okay, I'm up next. Wish me luck. You just listen to my song. All right, best of luck. Next contestant is Emily. She will be performing, per be performing Southern Wing. I am really tired today. Ugh, oh, I wonder if any of these stores sell earplugs. She's a real tone deaf! Ah, uh, that's almost as terrible as I sang. That's real bad. She's quite off with both tones and rhythm. She's only loud. And why is she si singing with such a mad look? Ah, uh, 
God, I'm glad I don't pull a Markiplier and play games with headphones. She's even singing along with the accompaniment? You don't have to sing that. What's that weird gesture? And only moving your neck and nothing else? That is not physically possible, Helena. You look like Chucky. Wow, okay, apparently it is physically possible. Just don't stop, just stop it, you're scaring me. Look, you made that kid cry. Audience keeps leaving their seats. This is just sad. Emeryn, uh, when will this ever come to an end? I ask myself that every time I fire up this game. Well, thank you. That was some singing you had. How would you score your singing? Out of what? Eh, out of 100. I'd say 104. It was fun. Farewell. Uh, so, next contestant, please. You should give it a shot, Helena. Yes, I'm back. Ah, oh, that felt good. How did you like it? You fell in love with it, didn't you? Uh, you know, if I'm honest about it, I'd feel sorry, but I don't know about lying either. What to do? Uh, well, now I'm torn because since I want to introduce chaos of her having low morals, I want to tell her to lie, but I also don't like Emily, so I don't mind hurting her feelings. Why don't you be honest? All right, I'll just spill it. Jeez, you are killing my ears. <laughs> For real? Um, I'm telling you as a friend, you even made a kid cry in the middle. <laughs> How could one even possibly make a cry, a kid cry during a singing competition? <laughs> wow, that's very like you. That's just perfect criticism. I feel like I am with the best partner now. Huh? I don't really get it, but Emeryn, you seem to be enjoying it. Hey, that worked out for everybody. I guess being honest was a good thing. Hooray! Oh, there's Pastry Noir. Okay, so I picked the right category of building. Hey, there it is, Christmas cake. You're not supposed to eat Christmas cake because it's after 25. Uh, weight plus 0.1 stress minus 30? Oh yeah, definitely. That's a good trade-off, especially since she's lost a bunch of weight from her work. So, or her diet rather. All right, so that's going to do it for today. We got through about four months of gameplay. It's going a little bit faster since I'm skipping all this stuff. It's faster for you. For me, this episode took an hour to record, so you're welcome. That's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.